Hi guys and welcome back to our Rebuilding Sunderland 2.0 career mode. Now, in the last episode, we made our way ever so slightly closer to safety in the Premier League, but in saying that, we're still only a point or two away from uh, the relegation zone. But in this episode, we are going to be starting off by heading into the next round of the FA Cup against Swansea, which is going to be a very difficult uh, task indeed. But this is how the episode is going to do. Uh, is going to go. Sorry, we're going to take on Swansea, and then we're just going to cover March because that's pretty much two months finished in one episode. That in one episode then. Uh, so we have Chelsea, which we will play. We then have West Ham, which we shall also play, and then we'll finish off the episode by uh, simulating the game against Bournemouth. Because then after that, if you look, we've got a very, very busy April indeed. So that might be an episode with, you know, three games played, three games simulated. Or maybe just do five of them and then uh, add May into that. So we're only two, possibly three episodes away from the end of the season. And I'm just hoping to God that we don't get dragged further into this relegation battle. So I think a successful season this season would probably be staying in the Premier League. And then maybe a little bit of a cup run in the FA Cup but let's see how far we can go in the cup starting with this game against Swansea let's get into it and here we are guys at the stage we're like taking on Swansea after that uh, replay we had to deal with against Wolves in the last round of the FA Cup where we did go through and we did trial that new formation with three at the back and it's a formation that I have stuck with for this game to trial it out a little bit more if it ends up going you know to part then I'll, I'll change it it's just to make things a little bit more interesting on the pitch as well and what I have done in uh, this uh, game I've changed the lineup ever so slightly and I put Sancho up front which is something that was suggested to me in the comments of the last episode and I'd just like to try them out see how he does there hopefully he does do well but let's get into this game against Swansea can we go even further in the FA Cup Go on, Davies. Still, Davies, have a come up with your right. And it's gone in. It has gone in, and it will be credited to Davies. It was a bit of a mess of a goal. It's a wicked deflection that it's found its way into the back of the net. Either way, Foden onto Davies. It's a nice little turn. It's bobbling. He struck it. Oh, it's against the defender's foot there. And he's just agonisingly watched it trickle over the line. It's a stroke of luck. Well, we have been due some good luck. Get in! Oh no, how on earth has that found its way through the defence? And it is almost an immediate equaliser. And it's Narsing who does get the goal. Oh God. It's those hard drilled passes that they use so much. Particularly when you're using these sliders and on legendary anyway but it's almost impossible to defend against and they've took advantage of it and it is an equaliser we're back at square one it is Sancho still Sancho have a crack strike it Fabianski oh no they're breaking forward again get it away headed oh come on it went straight to Pereira then he just felt the need to do that daft Diving animation. There was no power behind that header whatsoever. He took a step too many forward Pereira. And that was pathetic. It really was pathetic. Decent ball in, granted. But there's next to no power. Look, what is that about? He could have probably just walked across and got that. It's just making the goal look better than what it was. And we're probably deservedly losing. But to go down like that, that is really, really annoying. Help him out on the turn. Folding onto Brereton. Cut me a bit short there, but he does fall for Sancho. Straight at the goalkeeper. Turn your man, Sancho. Go on to another crack. Oh, and it's an absolutely world class save from Fabianski after some brilliant football. Go on, Sessignon. We need you to turn up now, son. It is still Sessignon. Get out of the way, Sancho. What are you doing, man? You're supposed to be a striker when you're stood there like an idiot. Getting in the way on the wing. That is so annoying. But well, here he is now. Can he make up for it? He can't. But it does fall for Davies. He turns. Go on. With his weaker right foot. Oh, this game is just getting to me. Just too many little things that have gone wrong. 
Whip it in. Someone get your head on it. It is headed and it's gone over the bar from Brereton's header. Come on, they are breaking now. We are ultra attacking, so there are going to be gaps at the back. We need to stay forward. Come on. Help him out. What is... Sancho's had a shocker. Who on earth was he even aiming for then? An absolute shocker he has had. And the final whistle does go, guys. And we are out of the FA Cup. We were just saying that we'd like a cut run. But it has come to an end in the most frustrating manner. I mean, it was a relatively even game, but just little things just didn't go our way. And we've been knocked out. But now we are going to have to put that heartbreak behind us and take on Chelsea. If we have a look at the league, they are top of the league. We are currently 16th and with a win we could climb a good three or four places up. Come on, let's just forget about that. I'm still quite annoyed about that loss. I really am. Everyone would be. But let's go ahead together and take on Chelsea and see if we can get a shock result at Stamford Bridge. Let's get into it. And here we are, guys. It's a night time game at Stamford Bridge. Can we topple the league leaders? Come on, lads. I have reverted back to our 4 2, well, it's basically like a 4 3 3 formation. I just didn't want to risk the three at the back against Chelsea at all. It didn't really go to plan against Swansea. So I'm hoping we can get a win here, it, even if it is just by scraping through a win would be absolutely fantastic and it definitely improved my mood right now go and try and find david he does find davies go on son go on son finish it off oh he took a tiny bit too long and tried to open up the gap a bit more for him but it has only given us a corner Don't get in the way. Don't get in the way. It's whipped in. Billing. Yes, it is. It's 1-0. Get in, son. And it's Rainbow Head who gets it. All six foot six of him. Get in. And the shock is on the cards. It was Breverton who whipped it in from the short corner. And there is Billing to just ping it back across goal and beats Courtois. Come on, lads. I'm smiling now, but we need to hold on to this or even add to it. Can we complete the upset? Good stuff. Go on, Brereton. Can he dig a shot out? He can. And it's ballooned over the bar. Brereton always tends to find himself in brilliant scoring positions. But he doesn't half make a mess of it. It's always 50-50. It's either a screamer in the top corner or in the top of the stands. Oh, this is an absolute joke. It's a comedy of errors. And luckily for us, Pereira gathers it after it pings off the bar. Just little things like that can go wrong. Tiny little things. It's just a joke. <laughs> go on, Broughton. Make your run. He has made his run. It is Broughton. Please finish this one. Son, straight to the keeper. Can Davis get there? Please just shoot. He has. It is 2-0. Chelsea could not get it away. And Davis has punish them as he does what a player he is and just to think guys a few episodes ago or even just two or three episodes ago we couldn't score more than one goal in a game and now we have put two past the league leaders Brereton should have finished that one as Quetta should have got it away Davies nicks in and puts it into that far corner come on lads oh and they are breaking it is Eden Hazard who we have kept so quiet for the majority of the game but luckily, it is Martinez quarter, the captain himself, getting his body in line with the shot. Can we get another goal here, though? It is just opening up so much in this game. Brereton has held his run. Still Brereton. Come inside. Brereton! Straight at the keeper. That kid just can't score. Brereton again finding himself in acres of space. Still Brereton. Surely now. Please, Brereton. I tell you what, he's going. Get in, the full-time whistle does go, but I'm so fed up of Brereton missing those chances. It's every episode now. We will come up with a blinder every now and then. He's getting into the positions I want him to. But why isn't the ball going in the back of the net? It might just be the sliders. It could be just the fact that we're up against Courtois. But he misses far too many chances for me. But I am going to calm down. We've just beat the league leaders. Come on! But if we do look at the stats, guys, look, we've had 10 shots to Chelsea's three. And if Brereton put away half of his 
efforts, because if you're lucky, he's been given a 9 out of 10 somehow. How many efforts has he had? How many shots has he had? Let's have a look. He's had 6 chances. Brereton there. 6 chances. How many goals has he got? None. 3 on target. They need to be going in. And obviously, it's me as well. But with him, it just doesn't seem to be hitting the back of the net. So after that absolutely incredible win against Chelsea, we are going to be taking on West Ham. But that win against Chelsea did leave us 14th in the league, which is absolutely fantastic. And we are taking on West Ham, who are also fighting against uh, against relegation here. But if you look at just how tight that is, just four points separates 13th and 18th. That's just mad. But anyway, let's go into this game away from home against West Ham and here we are guys at the London Stadium taking on West Ham to see if we can further ourselves even further away from the relegation zone West Ham have become a bit of a close rival because they're also in the mix I have had to mix up the team quite significantly due to fitness reasons we will be seeing the likes of Ampadu uh, in a centre-back role this time I have used him as a CDM a couple of times since we bought him so I'm quite excited to see a few of these players. Like in the last episode, we did uh, we played a game with our second string lineup, and uh, I haven't played with them enough. So it's quite good to see what they're like physically when you're actually uh, playing with them. And that's nice. I've done it. It's Cucharella. Oh, and that is really close to being an instant one-goal lead. Help him out. He has found a sorrow. Please, a sorrow. Get there first. He does, but he's hit it straight at the legs of Adrian. Go on, Adams. Go on, Adams. We know we can hit them. He has an absolute thunderbolt of a shot, but it really is just a roulette as to whether it's going to fly into the top corner or go way over the bar with Adams. I do really like him. He's definitely been one of our best players so far this season. Go on, get to it. Get to it. Surely... Oh, Sancho, lad. Sancho. You have not had the best of episodes, have you, mate? The West Ham players just seem to back off in the most daft position there. But Sancho should have done a lot better with that. Come on, McNair. Have a crack. And it's another very good save. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of play now. Surely, Sancho. It is. And Sancho has put things right. We are in the lead, finally. He hasn't had a great episode. But I'll forgive him. I'll forgive him because that was an absolutely fantastic finish into the top right-hand corner. And it is deserved. It's a brilliant pass through from Cucurella, who, again, is another player who's had, who's had an absolutely fantastic season. Cucurella is really, really proven his worth. And Sancho has made up for it and scored a cracker. Get in. Things are looking up now, guys. Things are looking up. Come on, come on. Get into him. Get into him. He has hit it straight at Pereira, thankfully. Ornatovic has just been a real burden in this game so far. The only real threat West Ham have had. He twists and turns past our players so easily. His close control, his dribbling has been a bit of a nightmare for us. Come on, Ampadu. Catch up with Ornatovic. Get it away. Get it away. Oh, thank God. Why did Montiel control it? I was smashing to clear it away. But we've got off the hook again there. Get in! The full-time whistle goes. It's another three points in the league. And we are getting safer and safer by the game. Get in! And with that win, we are 13th on 32 points. We are edging closer and closer to official Safety. We are turning things around slowly but surely for pretty much the entire first half of the season and a bit more. We had been in the bottom three, but we just seem to have woken up. We've got used to the sliders and things just seem to be going well now in the league anyway. Of course, I'm still pretty uh, pretty salty about the uh, FA Cup loss and being knocked out, but I'd obviously prefer to stay in the Premier League rather than have a decent FA Cup run. But to end this episode, guys, we are going to be simulating this game against Bournemouth. Bournemouth, as you can see, are currently 10th. We are two points behind them. So potentially with a win, we could even leapfrog them. But we have not won a simulated game yet. I'm pretty certain of that. So will today be the day where we get a win by simulating? Come on, let's do this. Make me smile and we lose 2-1. I don't see the point, guys. I don't see the point. And just to make it worse, it's uh, it's Wilson who gets the goal. 
our hero from the previous rebuild in Sunderland career mode. Oh, dear. But that is where we're going to leave the episode, guys. And here is the league table. We are currently 14th, but seven, yes, seven points clear away from the relegation zone. So we're making further and further strides to safety with each episode, which is kind of the aim now up until the end of of the season. West Ham Wolves and Brighton making up the uh, relegation places. Brighton seems to have picked up a few points in, since the last episode anyway, but it looks like they are almost already relegated. Obviously, it's definitely not impossible, but they are 10 points away from safety, and it's Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester City who are making up the top four, with Everton sitting in fifth. Can we finish above Newcastle in this uh, season? Can we do it? 32 points, we're on Newcastle are on 36. If we finish above them, that would just be a massive, massive bonus, and I'll be buzzing. But if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please smash that like button for me. It will be massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. The channel's Instagram account is in the description below, so be sure to follow that for early updates on upcoming content. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.